didn't work. What up guys, today we're gonna install a rear bumper from Mountain Armor. It's for a 155, they are specific to 163 and 155, so make sure you get the correct one for your sled. One awesome thing about this rear bumper is that it does have tunnel support. It goes all the way up to just before the uh, seat, I believe. So it just gives it that one piece solid construction, a lot better than the uh, other bumper I was going to put on. It was from a different company and it came in about five different pieces and which I, didn't, I really didn't like that. So I wanted a one piece mountain armor bumper. So I traded this uh, for some work for a friend of mine. So I'm really stoked to get this on. So let's get right to it. Just to give you a quick idea of what it, about what it'll look like. I know this is kind of a mock-up right now, but it'll it'll cover quite a bit. Some of my wrap, which I, I'm kind of disappointed about, but kind of have to live with it. It's gonna look a lot better though. So as you can see, we gotta take off that little bolt right there, as well as the stock rear bumper. All right, so let's get this rear bumper off. We gotta get 10 millimeter, as well as I believe it's a Allen head on the back side for the bolt. Make sure you save all your hardware because you're going to use that for the new bumper on install. Definitely that one, that one, that one. All right, we're looking good so far. Yeah, we got four rivets to go in, one there, one there, one there, one there. And then we got the bolt put in, put back in right there. And then the two bolts on either side, right back there. So I'm not gonna tighten all these bolts on either side. I'm just gonna uh, snug them up for now. And then I'll tighten them all up once I get, uh, once I get all the rivets in. And actually, I think I need to drill out this hole, these holes back here for our OEM hardware. Unfortunately, I'm really limited on tools down here in Phoenix. All my tools are back up in Washington at the moment. So it makes some jobs a little more difficult. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put in all of our rivets. If they don't fit, we may need to drill the hole a little bit just to make it big enough for the uh, for it to fit because a lot of times these aftermarket products uh, don't fit perfectly. You just have to massage them like that. And that. And that one. 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 So, Mountain Armor. You did good. But I still gotta modify it. Wait. That is looking fantastic. I love the same so much now. What's nice about these things, 
is that they actually lift up a little bit off the tunnel. So when you're dug down, you're reaching down to be able to lift, this, lift the tunnel out of a trench or something like that. It makes it so much nicer than uh, the stock one, which would come out about right here. So it makes it much, much better. I think I'm definitely gonna replace these bolts uh, right here just because they're a little bit too long. I don't like how they stick out like that. So I'm gonna get, uh, get those replaced uh, probably to a, a black uh, Allen head or something like that. Uh, all the rivets came out good, uh, except for one of them right here. They just broke off. I'm not sure if that's my uh, rivet tool or if it was the quality of the rivets uh, that Mountain Armor has, but uh, I can just get that cut off pretty easily with, uh, with a pair of clippers. And the same thing on this side happened to uh, that one right there, so just got to get it cut off and call it good. All right, we're looking much, much better, boys. That looks so good, holy cow. I am so stoked off that right now. I don't know if you guys are excited about uh, winter as I am, but it's coming, it's on its way. I keep seeing photos, videos, everything from all my friends up north, already riding in BC, I'm so jealous. So as you can see, it is pretty well even with the uh, top of the tunnel here. They do have a model to where it uh, creates a tie down point. I'm not sure how, how long it is, but uh, it just brings up the top of this a little bit to where you can basically have a tie down point all along the, the back end of the tunnel, which makes it nice. I, that's the model I kind of wanted, but uh, this one will do. I'll, I'm gonna have a mount, mounting system for all the camera gear uh, this winter for, uh, I'm gonna make something myself here. So don't mind my uh, bent up tunnel a little bit right there but you can see that it just follows the edge of the tunnel really well other than where I've messed it up from last season but uh, it follows it really well this the rivets on the bottom really help out with keeping it just as tight as possible and keeping everything nice and rigid now one quick install tip that uh, I would say made it a little bit easier I actually put a piece of tape on the back side of this piece here I just put a piece of tape on the back side here and then just kind of wrapped it around and then once I got the bumper up to this point, I slid a piece of metal between this piece and the tunnel itself that was just about as wide as the bumper. So when I slid the bumper up to here, went in behind the running board support right here, and then uh, once it got up to that little metal piece, I just kind of pushed it out and it, I was able to uh, just kind of work the whole bumper uh, on both sides. Uh, all the way up to uh, this point. And the tape also made it a little bit easier to slide too on the back side. Just made it a lot easier to slide along the, the bumper here. Looks good. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comments below. Get rid of that stock bumper. If this is the first time you are stopping by, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.